So I woke up not too long ago, right? And I already have all this work that I need to do because grades are due tomorrow. And my ass has been procrastinating because, you know, I'm, I'm just not one of those teachers that grades throughout the week, you know? So I wait last minute and they're due tomorrow. Oh, somebody said no. I just heard that her students uh, loved her a lot. I, I really feel sad for them. I feel sad for the family. Hope they overcome this. Those who knew the Boone Elementary School teacher said she was a kind and soft-spoken person who dedicated her career to helping kids and then spending her free time volunteering to feed the homeless. She showed me the picture. I said, no, that guy, the face is look evil. But she did not take my advice. This is the story of Wendy Duan, a vibrant and dedicated Texas elementary school teacher whose life took a tragic and mysterious turn that has left an entire community in shock. The 28-year-old educator with her whole life ahead of her met her alleged killer on a dating app just a week before her life was brutally taken away. How did a seemingly harmless online interaction turn into a terrible situation that destroyed lives and disrupted this peaceful atmosphere of a close-knit community? Join us as we delve into the heart of a chilling mystery, exploring the fragile boundaries between online encounters and real-life consequences. Welcome to Viral Crimes. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. This story takes us to Houston, Texas, a sprawling metropolis famous for its diverse cultural mix and endless liveliness. Houston, Texas, the fourth largest city in the United States, is a vibrant and diverse metropolis known for its rich cultural scene, world-class museums, thriving energy industry, and renowned medical institutions. Wendy Duan, a resident of Houston, Texas, was a third-grade language arts teacher at Boone Elementary. She poured her heart and soul into shaping the futures of her students. Her presence was like a sunbeam, warming the hearts of her students and colleagues alike. She didn't just teach her students, she ignited their curiosity and nurtured their love for learning, sculpting young minds like a master craftsman. She worked really hard and inspired others to make their dreams come true, like creating a beautiful artwork of motivation. Wendy's dedication to her craft earned her the coveted title of Teacher of the Year in 2021. A true accolade, proving that her impact on her students' lives was nothing short of extraordinary. Her Twitter page, a digital chronicle of her journey, brimmed with snapshots of her unwavering commitment to teaching. Each photo spoke a thousand words, each caption a testament to her love for her craft and her students. Described as delightful, fun, upbeat, and energetic, Wendy was the embodiment of a walking exclamation mark, punctuating the lives of everyone she encountered. Wendy's path was like a beautiful picture made by combining her impressive work skills and her own dreams and goals. Brilliant and captivating, she reveled in empowering her students, finding her own fulfillment in their growth. Life, however, had its twists. Right after a breakup, Wendy started a new chapter hoping to find love. She joined a dating app called Meet Me. Little did she know, this journey would reveal unexpected dangers. The digital realm held promises and pitfalls, and fate led Wendy to cross paths with a man by the name of Jarvis Thompson on the Meet Me dating app. Little did she know, this chance encounter would set the stage for an unimaginable tragedy. Deceived by appearances, Wendy placed her trust in the wrong person, and this choice would lead to a fatal consequence. The bond that formed between Wendy and Charvas was brief, lasting only a week. In that short span of time, a connection blossomed, only to spiral into an argument that shattered lives forever. Fast forward to a serene evening in Sugar Land, Texas, on that chilling January 7 of 2023. The tranquility of the night is abruptly shattered by the piercing echo of gunshots at precisely 9.50 p.m. Law enforcement races to the scene, only to be met with a scene of heart-wrenching tragedy. Wendy Duan, the beloved educator whose warmth and dedication touched countless lives, lies motionless in her own backyard, her radiant spirit extinguished far too soon. As the investigation unravels, it's revealed that the unthinkable had transpired during what started as a casual hangout. Wendy and Charvas had gathered with friends at her Oxford Mills Lane residence. A regular argument turned into a terrifying explosion of violence, spreading from inside the house to the backyard. A barrage of gunfire erupted, and in that chilling moment, Wendy's world turned to darkness as she fell victim to over 10 fatal shots. An argument, a mere spark, ignited on that fateful January 7, sent shockwaves through the tranquil streets of the 1100 block of Oxford Mills Lane in New Territory. 
People who saw it happen were shocked when suddenly there were four loud gunshots. Out of nowhere, just uh, four very distinct gunshots is what I heard. Tony Thomas, a neighbor and witness to the chilling incident, vividly recalls that terrifying moment. Out of nowhere, just four very distinct gunshots is what I heard, and it was quite scary at the moment, so I dropped everything I was doing and came outside. In a stunning turn of events, the puzzle pieces began to fall into place. Detectives, armed with determination and modern technology, swiftly unraveled the truth. Through interviews with courageous witnesses and a meticulous review of nearby surveillance footage, they zeroed in on their target. Charvez Thompson, the man whose web of deception had entangled Wendy's heart and ultimately shattered it. An arrest warrant was swiftly issued, charging Thompson with the shocking murder. The wheels of justice were set in motion, and authorities tracked him down in Louisiana. With a seamless cooperation between Sugar Land Police and the Louisiana Task Force, Thompson's capture was finally accomplished. Kind and too trusting. Those are the words the mother of the A-Leaf teacher who was shot and killed. She tells us what made Wendy Duan vulnerable. First tonight, Sugarland police say Wendy Duan had known Charvis Thompson for a week before the shooting. The two met on a dating app. Thompson was arrested this week in Louisiana with the help of witnesses and license plate recognition cameras. Brittany Ford is in Sugarland tonight. And Brittany, what else did Wendy's mother say about what happened? Well, and Duan's mother says that their family is completely devastated, as you can imagine. She says her daughter did mention about meeting someone online, never thinking something like this could happen. A mother trying to process the loss of her only child. Unbelievable. Speaking with KHOU 11 via phone, Wendy Duan's mother, who asked us not to use her name. 26 year old Charvis Thompson has been charged with her daughter's murder, arrested and captured in Shreveport, Louisiana, after being on the run for the last week. Wendy, don't know someone online. It's dangerous that you don't know somebody the background. Authorities say Duan and Thompson had met on an online dating app called Meet Me a week prior to her being shot and killed in the backyard of her Sugarland home. And what police say was the aftermath of an argument. Her mother says Wendy had mentioned Thompson, someone she immediately had a bad feeling about. She said, why, mommy? I said, this guy, the face, uh, not the good guy. Duan, a beloved A. Leaf ISD teacher who taught third grade at Boone Elementary. Her mother says Wendy was a giver who always showed a special love for her students. Every Thursday, she asked me to go like dollar store, 99 cents, buy some gift for the kids. She believes Thompson took her daughter's kindness for weakness hoping he remains behind bars. You know, the guy went evil. Take her life away. I hope this guy have to get the full legal punishment. The layers of Charvez Thompson's life were unveiled, shedding light on a criminal past with brushes against the law. His journey through the legal system included a 2022 misdemeanor case for family violence, a drug charge and a theft charge. However, fate's grip takes an unexpected twist. Just as the wheels of justice turn, news breaks. Charva's own life meets a tragic end. On March 9, two months after his arrest, in a Louisiana jail cell, he's found dead, suspected of ending himself. But leading us off this hour, the family of an A-Leaf ISD teacher allegedly shot and killed by a man she met online is coping with an unexpected twist in the case. Yeah, police say the man charged with killing 29-year-old Wendy Duan took his own life in a Louisiana jail. Police say Charvis Thompson shot and killed Dewan at her home in Sugarland back in January. He was later arrested in Shreveport, Louisiana. Still in disbelief that her only child is gone. I am crying like a few times a day. The mother of 29 year old Wendy Dewan, who's asked us not to reveal her identity, says she's now dealing with another loss, one, of justice. They test to me, uh, they, they want to see us, 
And when we went to police station, they told us uh, he had himself. The case is closed. Jarvis Thompson has been charged with Dwan's murder after allegedly shooting and killing her in the backyard of her Sugar Land home in early January. Investigators say the two had met on an online dating app just a week before. Dwan's mother describing her daughter as too trusting. She showed me the picture. I said, no, the guy, the face is look evil, but she did not take my advice. Police say the shooting happened after some sort of argument. Thompson, who had fled to Louisiana, was later located at a home in Shreveport where he was taken into custody. Her life is gone. No matter he died, he's died, but cannot replace. Duan was a beloved A-Leaf ISD teacher who taught third grade at Boone Elementary. Her mother says Wendy was a giver who always showed a special love for her students. We lose her, so I don't know how long it took me. I miss her forever. In the Caddo Parish Jail, Charvis Thompson's part of the story ends, adding sadness to Wendy Duan's already sad tale. Their connected paths finish, leaving us wondering about love, trust, and the unexpected. The tragic fate that befell Wendy Duan is a heart-wrenching reminder of the cruel and senseless nature of violence. Her untimely death, marked by a cascade of gunshots, is a haunting testament to the dangers that can lurk in unexpected places. The loss of Wendy, a dedicated and beloved teacher, should never have happened, and the grief-stricken aftermath raises important questions about prevention and the profound impact on those left behind. In hindsight, several potential measures could have been taken to prevent this devastating tragedy. First and foremost, awareness about the risks of online interactions and digital courtship could have been emphasized. Wendy's choice to connect with Jarvis Thompson through a dating app, while not inherently wrong, highlights the need for caution and due diligence when forming relationships with individuals met online. Education and open discussions about recognizing red flags and potential dangers in relationships, both online and offline, could have equipped Wendy and others with the tools to identify warning signs. Encouraging individuals to share their online interactions with trusted friends or family members might have prompted Wendy to seek advice or guidance, possibly leading her to a more informed decision. Wendy's mother is devastated by her daughter's murder. Every Thursday she asks me to go to the dollar store to buy gifts for kids, reminisces Wendy's mother, her voice tinged with both warmth and sorrow. She had this special love for her students, she adds, reflecting on Wendy's innate compassion that extended beyond the classroom. Wendy had mentioned she met someone online, but never imagined something like this would happen, reveals Wendy's mother, her voice heavy with disbelief and grief. Wendy's mother confides that she had her doubts about this virtual suitor. With a mother's intuition, she saw through the veil and sensed something was amiss. She showed me the picture, she recalls, her voice heavy with sorrow. I don't know his name. She just said, do you like him? I said no. A simple exchange, forever etched in grief. The guy is very evil, she asserts, her words laced with determination. He took her life away. I hope this guy gets the full legal punishment. Her wish was for justice to be served, for the man who shattered her daughter's life to face the consequences of his actions. Wendy's friends, colleagues, and students are also left to grapple with a profound sense of loss. Her infectious energy, passion for teaching, and warm presence undoubtedly had a lasting impact on their lives. Ultimately, Wendy Duan's tragic story should serve as a catalyst for change and renewed efforts to prevent similar incidents. By raising awareness about the potential risks of online interactions, promoting dialogue about recognizing warning signs, and encouraging individuals to lean on their support networks, we can hope to spare others from the pain and loss that Wendy's family and loved ones now endure. What steps can we take to ensure the safety of online interactions and relationships? And have you ever had a situation where a small disagreement escalated unexpectedly? Leave your answers in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.